This is Ruben Lowing. It's my, it's Tuesday morning, and I'm doing a little leadership talk here. Uh, so I got after it yesterday, not like I really wanted to. I probably made like 30 phone calls, and I got uh, three appointments, and I got two guests invited for the BPM tonight, right? But what else happened is I got a call back. I was, while I was making my phone calls, I stumbled on a guy in San Diego that I didn't even know I had, had it. His name is Charles. And we didn't know each other very long. We, I was, I was heartbroken when my first wife left me and he's walking down the street in San Diego. And I don't even know why we started talking to each other and I just broke down and this guy hugs me and I didn't know him from Adam, right? And then we met at a Starbucks at the uh, Horton Plaza and, you know, he told me about his tragic story and, I, and what he did and he's got a ministry, had a ministry um, and uh, helping people and and I just had him on my phone, right? And so I just called him just to thank him because he, he was, because of how, what he did, didn't know me from anybody and, and uh, reached out to me and, uh, you know, comforted me. It was, you know, and just, and then he started, he asked me what I was doing and I told him I was in the financial services. He's like, really? And uh, he, I want to buy this stock. I'm like, okay, let me stop you there. I don't have a Series 7 license. So, uh, there's a, an MD, I guess she's an SMD now, in uh, San Diego, Lenka Holman, and so I called her up the message and she got back to me, and she's telling me that, uh, you know, she doesn't know anybody who's got a Series 7 anymore, nobody's doing that, it's just the way the market, especially right now. The market's just crazy. Um, oh, this is oh, booking.com. No, no, no. That's that's the other thing. There's some uh, website that got shut down, and now they're being sued like crazy because people doing uh, you know self trading and everything like that. And uh, there was just some sort of sham that they were they were they were manipulating the markets. That's what they're doing, and now they're getting sued. And there's the website shut down, right? It was going to have a detri big time detrimental effect on the market, right? And um, and she just started going to all this stuff, and I'm like, you know, her, her business is just popping. You know, people are freaking out, right? Unless you got the uh, you know the IULs, because <laughs> you got guarantees, your money ain't going nowhere, right? Um, so you know. And I kind of noticed that when I was talking to people yesterday, they, it's, uh, you know, that safety looks a lot sexier now that the market's down like it is, right? It's down worse further than it was in 2008. Think about that for a minute, right? And uh, it's a good time to buy, right? But is it all the way, is it down as far as it's going to go? I mean, there's some serious manipulation going on, right? And people just don't, you know, you, you got to be super savvy to be able to deal with that, and most people aren't. And so they need something that's safe. Hence the uh, IUL products, right? So, I mean, just, just we're right now at a really interesting time. It's a crazy time. And, uh, you know, this is, you, know, you couldn't have guessed this was going to happen. And this virus is like nothing. I swear to God, I, I'm, I'm sure I had it, right? And, I, and it's, it was hard. It was, you know, I had a, I, it felt like crap. Had a terrible fever and and uh, muscle aches like crazy, right? And uh, and then the congestion and you know it lasts for about two and a half weeks. Now I'm pretty healthy. If somebody wasn't very healthy, you know as healthy as I am, and maybe they it wouldn't have, you know been a lot worse, you know. So, but but my point is that it's it's not as catastrophic as. H1N1, my, you know, my dad died from complications from H1N1, 
there was a lot more people that, that were sick and died from H1N1 than the coronavirus. All right. So this is there's a bunch of manipulation and hype going on with the media, and um, but there's also you know some crazy pressure from outside entities like China, Russia, and, and Saudi Arabia from the oil industry. So th this is a crazy time in the world, and people want the more crazy it is, the more secure they want. All right. Bye.